When I look at what is going on in Nigeria, let me say that I would have advised that Nigeria needs at least, if we can secure the permission to buy them, Nigeria needs at least about 10 of those Chinook uh, uh, helicopters. Now, without even the specs of the weapons alone, 10 of them at $38 million, not even talking about the maintenance costs alone, takes us about $400 million already. Now, at the level at which we are, if we want Nigeria to survive today, we had better go into drone technology, what they call uh, UAVs, unmanned uh, aerial vehicles. Thank you. Now, for UAVs, for drones, look at the Dapchi thing, look at uh, uh, Chibok and all that. If Nigeria had, I'm only just mentioning two things now that I believe must be part of what Nigeria is trying to make sure that they can, they can get a hold of. If we look at uh, the combination of those uh, helicopters, assault helicopters, and drone technology, a lot of soft targets that is making us weep as a nation today can be prevented. So I would say to you that when it comes to, there are four things you need to, to defeat an insurrection completely, four things. One of them is what we're talking about here. And if we have to tell ourselves the truth, I don't think a billion dollars is even enough if Nigeria really understood the kind of problem we are facing right now. So except we want to continue to see our young children being abducted, except we want to continue to see a one-sided fight. We had better step up the game in terms of technology, and that definitely will cost us a lot. All right. oh, okay, let me allow uh, Mr. Enoy then. Uh, your party has, been, uh, has criticized the move to spend this money, and uh, it is the fact that so, even some of your governors have said, look, uh, they suspect that these monies are going to be used for politics. So why, if, if you hear some of the things that we need to do to fight uh, a terrorism, to fight uh, insurgency, and tackle insecurity in the country, a lot of people will say, perhaps they're rational. There, there's no reason for the one billion. Show there's no reason for the, the additional one billion for this government to fight terrorism. In 2016, this government got 294.5 billion for, for, for defense. In 2017, they got 140 billion for defense, and then in 2018, and, 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 and 18, they are proposing 145 billion for. And the budget for 2018 has not been passed. If this government needed money for, for additional money for arms, why didn't they include it in the budget that is being considered by the National Assembly, you know, to be to be to be passed? There, there are many issues that are wrong with the 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 the, 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 the approved. One billion dollars intended for you know security fighting. Now, for for instance, it, it, the, the, the federal government of Nigeria cannot spend a cobble out of the, either the consolidated fund or any public account without the approval of the National Assembly by Section 80, 81, 82, 83 of the 1999 Constitution as amended. They cannot spend a cobble out of any public fund without the approval of the National Assembly. Here. No approval was sought. And we just heard the, the, the advisor to the, the, the president, Professor Sage, said that the president needed to approve first. That, that, can, that cannot be the proper order. The, when you want an approval from the, for, for fund, for public fund, it is a national assembly that a letter should be sent to, or a budget be sent to. And then the national assembly will con consider the nationality for that, mon for that uh, you know, request, and then they give approval. After the due consideration, it is not the president approving it first and then, uh, you know, uh, and, and premising the approval on the approval of the governor's forum. The, go the totality of the gov governor's forum, the unanimity of the totality of the governor's forum cannot give, you know, approval for one, or even one naira to be spent out of the public, you know, covers of Nigeria. They cannot. It is only the National Assembly that can approve money to be spent from the, 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 the public covers in Nigeria. So... Th th Whatever argument they are putting forward cannot be, cannot be correct. And of course, we are also talking about the requirement for this fund. The need for this fund does not seem to be properly you know, uh, you know, you know, you know, put forward. The federal government has not convinced anybody. There are so many theories from the federal government. The Minister of Information said they brought a different theory. The, 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 the presidency brought a different theory. You know, the vice president brought a different theory. This cannot, they cannot add up. You know, they, are, they are trying to open up 
reasons that, that uh, we're not them, putting let's the bring original Professor application Killer. for uh, the Sorry, the if I may pause you. So, so whether, you're coming, whether you're coming from the legality, the legality point of view or the justification point of view, they, they are not applicable. All right, Professor Killer, what are your views on this? Well, my view, let, let me start with Mr. Thompson's view. The, you know, he was speaking like uh, somebody who has seen children butchered and everything. Let me speak like a citizen who has been told that the war on terrorism has been won. It's not consistent. You don't say you're winning the war and all of a sudden you need a huge chunk amount of money. Let us assume that... Well, when they say that the, mo uh, the, 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 the money is not uh, just for tourism, it's also for the uh, security architecture generally, yes. and the, the, the security generally. Yes, it is, yes. But what I'm saying is that you don't come to ask for a huge amount of money. I said that as a citizen who has been told. Let me tell you as a scholar of terrorism. In Italy, when are we going to fight Brigata Rosa, the Red Brigade? In the United States, when are we going to fight the Black Panther? You know what the government did? They came to the nation and said, there is an emergency. We are not in charge of things. We need people, we need money, we need a plan. This government has not come out to say there's an emergency. They have been saying that we're doing things well, and all of a sudden they need more money. The pity of man, Emmanuel is right, when he says that there was a budget. Governance, leadership is about your ability to predict the future and set yourself for accountability. All right. The government has not been able to say that this is what we're going to need in the next year or two and therefore plan for it. You don't run the government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria like a mommy and daddy store in which you just decide one day I need this, tomorrow I need that. You make a plan. And you know what? We must say this. It is an issue of competence. Okay. People uh, are paid okay. to think and project and make budgets. Right. What are they doing? Okay. Who are those people? Professor, we'll have to pause for a moment and I'll allow uh, uh, Mr. Thompson to, to come in with his intervention. But let, let's tell you some news just coming in. The President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, will leave the country tomorrow. He is expected to be to leave Abuja Monday, the 9th of April 2018, for an official visit to Britain, where he is due to hold uh, discussions on Nigeria British relations with the Prime Minister, Mrs. Theresa May, prior to Commonwealth Health uh, at of Government meetings scheduled for the 18th to 20th April. That's the news just coming in. But up next on the program, I mean the suspicion and the blame game lies a coming election year. We take on the key issues ahead of the 2019 election, especially this very naughty issue of security. Genesis.